Welcome back to RC101 with a Taoist Flyer. This is the tank bot from Desk Pets. It sells for about $29.95 to $39.95, and it is an iPhone, iPad, iPod, and Android device controlled little micro robot. It also has an obstacle avoidance mode, which is just phenomenal, and a little personality artificial intelligence mode where it blends its obstacle avoidance capabilities with some light and sound effects. So he'll whistle around your desk and take little naps here and there. He really has a lot of personality, and those are really the modes you're going to want to get this for. Um, you can download the um, app to control it with your Android device or uh, iPad or iPhone or iPod from the Desk Pets website for free. Once you get it downloaded and installed in your device, you go ahead and take your little infrared controller and you just plug it into your headphone jack. Then you turn it on. It's going to ask you to press the little button and make sure the blue light lights up on it. As soon as it does, you go to the next step. It'll ask you to enter a product code. You really don't have to to make it function. Um, one of the really nice things about this app, though, is it allows you to control all the desk pets out there. So if you have a skitter bot, or if you have a tread bot, or if you have a tank bot, you can control it with this app. Now, the range of this transmitter is only going to be about four or five feet. And the tank bot doesn't respond too terribly well to the commands. Um, I've noticed it seems to be programmed to make him do whatever he wants whenever he wants. So if you drive forward for two feet, he'll try and turn left and right here and there. So giving him quick commands is the best way to control him. But like I said, he's really not as good of an RC vehicle as he is a little artificial intelligent robot. Once you turn him on and just set him loose on the floor, that's what TankBot's all about. He has just got so much personality and he's so much fun to just watch whistle around and he sees things, he avoids them, he has a lot of fun with them. Well, let's see if we can give you a little demonstration of how to work him. Basically you hold the power button down for two seconds and he'll go into obstacle avoidance mode and he'll make a little sound effect to let you know. To get him into artificial intelligent mode, press the button again, and he goes woohoo! And he'll go play around the table. To get him into uh, RC mode, press the button one more time. You hear the engine sound, and he's ready to go. Now, like I said, the range on this is about three or four feet, and giving it quick commands is the best way to control it. It's got left and right and a stop, so if he loses a signal and you have to, you know, stop him, you just keep hitting the stop button to uh, get him to stop. It sends out quick bursts of uh, signal, so it's not constantly sending out a signal. So if he loses a signal, he'll kind of do whatever it was that he heard last. But like I said, it's really good for your desk. It's not good for um, wide areas. It's not good to uh, try and control from 10 or 15 feet away. It's great to just turn loose in a maze or turn loose on your floor and let your kids or cats or pets play with. It's a lot of fun. And like I said, it sells for $29.95 to $39.95. Uh, the Desk Pets website has the app to control it for free. It's a 20 megabyte app. Uh, go ahead and download it and uh, check one of these out as soon as you can. It's a lot of fun. It's in the Desk Pets series, and I hope to see more of these in the future. I would like to see a um, better set of controls for these. I would really like to see a really nice uh, controller for the TankBot and Desk Pets series. I have a lot of trouble with the um, uh, Android device controlling it or an iPhone or iPad controlling it. It just doesn't respond as well as I know it can. I love whenever you turn him off. He gets a little sad. Aww, it's okay, we'll play with you later. But he charges through his USB port in about 45 minutes, and he drives for about 15 minutes or so. And the same with most of the rest of the Desk Pet series. Um, like I said, the controls aren't as precise as I would like them to be, but the artificial intelligence is just beautiful. It's so much fun to watch him just drive around and play around. So if you get a chance, check him out. Thanks for watching RC101 with the Dallas Flyer. Stay tuned for more videos, and show us your support on mylittleproductioncompany.com and rc101.org.